In this video, we're going to take a look at what comes in the box of the Forerunner 410 and talk about some of its cool features. Let's take it out of the box. Here are all the contents of the Garmin Forerunner 410 with heart rate monitor box. So we have a little advertisement here for Garmin Connect where you can share and store and analyze all your data. We have a Forerunner 410 manual here in paper format. Safety and product information guide right here. And then a full user manual, quick start manual on DVD. Here are all the good parts that you're going to want to start playing with right away. So we'll talk about the charging accessory first. So it comes with this AC adapter. It's going to come in two parts and the plug just clips on like that. On this side here, we have a USB connection, which we're going to plug the Garmin charging cable into, which is this guy right here. This charging cable has kind of like alligator clip on this end. On the back of the Garmin Forerunner watch, maybe difficult to see here, but we have a couple contacts right there. The alligator clip clips on and kind of grabs onto those two contacts. Plug these together and now you could go charge your device. You could even charge it through the USB port on your computer. We have some Velcro wrist straps here. A lot of people find these more comfortable than the plastic or the rubber strap that comes with the device. And they give you two different lengths here. They give you a large one and a small one depending on your wrist size. Choose the one that best fits you. In this plastic baggie here, they give you a tool and this tool is to get the straps off and they give you these adapters and these adapters allow you to use the velcro straps we were just looking at and there's two extra pins in here. Here's the Garmin Ant Adapter. The Garmin Ant Adapter plugs into your USB port and is going to provide wireless communications with your Garmin Forerunner products that support Ant technology. It's really cool because as soon as you walk into the room, all your data is going to automatically download if you set it up to. Here we have the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor. It's the premium monitor with soft strap. It just clips on with two snaps here. On the back, we've got two contacts which are gonna pick up your heart rate. These do need to be moist, so I always recommend to do a little bit of stretching with the heart rate monitor on before going on your run. That'll create a little bit of sweat so the heart rate will pick up by the watch. And the battery on this heart rate monitor is replaceable. You just have to unscrew these four screws here to remove the CR2032 battery. It's just the coin cell battery that you could get from most places that sell watches. The last thing that we find in the box is the Garmin Forerunner 410. It's a nice size, fits on your wrist really comfortably, and it's got this cool touch bezel on it. You could bring up different menus just by putting your finger where it says, let's say, menu right here. It's going to bring up menu. Rub your finger along the bezel to choose a different option. The Garmin Forerunner 410 has a few GPS functions to it. You could save a location. You could even go to a location. And you can navigate back to start. So if you go for a run, and you want to run backwards through your track back to where you started, you could just choose this option. Very similar to track back on a Garmin handheld. Just because the Garmin Forerunner 410 is a GPS does not mean you have to run outside all the time. It has the ability to sync up with the Garmin foot pod for indoor running and for biking indoors you could use a speed and cadence sensor. A lot of people use the speed and cadence sensor on a bike trainer. And these sensors communicate via ant technology. 
because this has wireless AMP technology, you could even wirelessly transfer data unit to unit or to your computer using the Garmin USB Ant Stick, which comes with the 410. When you compare the 410 to other Garmin watches, let's say like the Forerunner 60, it's definitely a more superior device because of the GPS capabilities. The GPS capabilities of recording your distance and speed are going to get you more accurate info about your runs and your training. However, the Forerunner 60, being a non-GPS is a little smaller so some people like it because it goes on the wrist a little better but the data collected won't be as accurate. Garmin has the new Forerunner 10 available and when you compare it to the 410 you'll notice that the 10 is a very basic unit in comparison because it doesn't have wireless like the 410 does and it has about I don't know a tenth of the features uh, when you're setting up your workouts and your courses and everything. Both units are easy to use, but you do get the extra functionality of the Garmin Forerunner 410. That was an introduction to the Garmin Forerunner 410 with heart rate monitor.